Choosing what media to use when you're on the go traveling, I think is a really important decision because there's definitely media that are just not convenient to work with. And I respect anybody who can paint on the road because it's just so much equipment to lug around. I think what's good to have is a few options, but also just to keep your equipment as lean as possible. What I give myself is two options for drawing on. So I have my small sketchbook, which I can whip out at any time, works super fast. And then I also have bristol board for when I have a little bit more time, I can create a more sustained drawing. It definitely took some time to do a little bit of research, figure out what surface was gonna work best because I had a regular run-of-the-mill sketchbook and it was a problem because the paper was so thin that the brush pens would just bleed through to the other side. This Strathmore soft cover sketchbook is a lot better because the paper is a lot thicker and I do like that it's a little bit textured. It's not super rough, but it's pretty durable, but it absorbs the brush pens so differently than the Bristol board. The Bristol board that I'm working on is really extremely smooth. It doesn't really absorb the brush pen. The brush pen just sort of glides across the surface. I've worked with Tombow brush pens a little bit before this trip, but this is really my first time deeply immersing myself into this material. One of my favorite inks to work with is walnut ink. Walnut ink has a beautiful, subtle brown color to it. It flows really well. But the thing is, if you consider what's involved, you gotta have all these brushes, you need a bucket of water, you need little tiny containers, so you have different gradients, you gotta bring the ink itself. It's just a lot to carry around. And so here, I just have dark brown, a color of thunder, and a medium brown, and that's it. That's all I need, and then I just have my blending palette. I also have my sketchbook. And so it's been really nice to only use one material and not have to think at all when I leave, oh, am I gonna use pencil today? Am I gonna use pen today? I just know, coming on this trip, that this is what I'm going to be using is these Tombow brush pens, and that's been really nice and easy. One thing that I love about these Tombow brush pens is that they're really juicy. They glide across the surface of the page beautifully. But actually, my favorite tool is this colorless blender. These are amazing. This is the equivalent of basically a wet brush that only has water in it. And so this is so wonderful because I can create very light gradients, I can blend, I can layer. I mean, the possibilities are really endless. They do get a little bit dirty after a while. You can see mine have these brown tips on the top, but I haven't found that to be an issue at all. I'm not somebody who's very picky about my tools being pristinely clean. That probably has something to do with it. But one thing I did discover is they do dry out if you use them very heavily. So what I started using was this little spray bottle that came with the Tombow blending palette. And what I just did is I just took this and I just put like a little spritz on top of these. And that honestly was enough to rehydrate them and they worked like magic after that. So I would definitely recommend with these brush pens, get a little spray bottle and just have this handy for when you want to rehydrate your colorless blenders. About a week into my trip, I started noticing that because I was using my Tombow brush pens so much, pretty much all day, every day, they were totally dying. And I had a really dark brown one that was starting to get really, really dry and it just wasn't juicy and elegant the way it was when I first bought it. But actually, I started to discover when I was using the dead brush pen that I liked it. I liked how dry and light it was. It was such a totally different experience that what I started doing actually was carrying a crappy brush pen and a brand new brush pen because both of them make such totally different types of marks. And it reminded me so much of using India ink with a brush, using it with no water and using it with only the India ink. It's a totally different type of mark. And so that was a great way for me to replicate the contrast between dry brushing techniques and wet brushing techniques. Thank you.